Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 8th, and it's a chilly, windy, but very sunny day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And it's good to be back in the shop and uh, having a chat with you all. Today I am smoking this uh, Bari pipe. Uh, this is one of the pipes that I got from my dear friend Danny Shure. And I am enjoying some Sir Walter, along with a nice uh, cup of 8 o'clock coffee made in the percolator. It's wonderful stuff. So, I had something planned for today, and uh, <laughs> it just didn't come together. Uh, it's just been been crazy, you know. It's uh, every time I turn around, there's something else that has to be done, and it's not that things are falling through the cracks. I've got a list, and the list is very, very well organized. It's just I never get to the end of the list. So, unfortunately, the few things that I knew I had to gather together last Sunday to do a follow up on the tamping video that I had made last week, I never gathered together. So. That'll have to be delayed until next week. But that video got some good, uh, you know, lot, lots of attention, comments, things like that. And I'm really glad. Uh, hopefully it was helpful to a lot of you. And I think the follow-on that I'm planning is going to be uh, equally of interest. At least I hope it will be. So what I do have planned and what I will have ready... Um, is that we are going to have a live stream giveaway next Saturday. Now, <clears throat> I decided to do this back at the beginning of the year, and I did it January, Feb uh, no, December and January, so it was the end of last year. Skipped February for uh, for various reasons, and now in March we're going to get back to it. Uh, every month in the middle of the month, uh, probably the second weekend of the month, uh, to, to the best of my ability to schedule it, I'm going to have a live stream uh, that's going to be Saturday afternoon, and I looked back at the previous one, Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, seemed to work very well. Uh, so that allows both folks over uh, on the other side of the pond, as well as folks on the West Coast, to find a, a medium, midi, medium ground, mid-ground? Uh, we can all get together at that time, it seems. So... Uh, and, and if you can't, I apologize. I just, you know, you can't find a time that makes everybody happy. But my hope is that by having that on the weekends at least once a month and then having the Friday live streams when they are, everybody will get a chance to stop by at least once a month. So, the monthly 4 p.m. Saturday stream is really for you guys. It's, it's, it's a chance for me to give something back to you. I'm using a contest format where all I'm asking you to do is answer a question so you don't have to make videos or any of that kind of stuff to join in. You do have to be a subscriber to the channel, but that's really the only requirement. And I, the way I've been doing it is I ask a question and I give a number. So I'll say the number's four and the question is, you know, who was the first guy to smoke burly? I have no idea. Um... And then people will put their answers in, and we just count until we get to the fourth person to enter the correct answer, and they win. So what's at stake this week? Well, we've got a tin of GLP's uh, Spark Plug, relatively new uh, blend from GLP's. It's um, it's a it's an English plug, English style plug. It's a lot of Kia Orientals, Virginias, uh, all that kind of good stuff. If you like. English blends. This is probably going to be right up your alley. Uh, I bought this specifically for the giveaway because I don't smoke English that often, uh, but this has gotten some good press and I thought it would uh, be something nice for you folks because I know a lot of you are English smokers. And along with this, I am going to be giving away this not yet finished pipe. So this is a uh, refurb that I've been working on. This is a, I believe this is a French Algerian briar, probably from the, probably from the late 50s. Um, very lightly smoked, uh, essentially a basket pipe. And I'm um, refinishing it. I have not yet done any final buffing. Uh, 
this has all been sanded and I'm going to restain it. Don't know what yet, but this will be done in time for the giveaway. Nice uh, Dublin shape, oval shank, uh, long stem. I, it's a very nice pipe. So, hopefully, you will appreciate that combination. Get the thing. Hey, look at that. I got it turned around right. Uh, and, you know, tune in next Saturday at 4 p.m., and we'll see how it goes. I have checked previous scheduling, and it looks like 4 p.m works okay both in terms of everybody being able to make it but it also doesn't step on top of anyone else I will keep a close eye on that I don't wanna step on anyone else so if I have to shift the time you'll find out about it uh, and you'll see you'll see a little preview thing come up where you can click the notification um, yeah so anyway I hope to see you all there next Saturday at 4 p.m. for uh, just a chat and an opportunity for me to give something back to you guys. So I hope you're all staying safe and keeping your hands clean in this time of uh, COVID-19. It's uh, it's both frightening and frustrating at the same time for me because, you know, I, I know enough to know, and I think many of you know enough to know, that we are overreacting. But at the same time, I also know if we underreact, it would be a huge mistake. So, where do you draw that line? And probably drawing it on the end of overreacting is the better option. But boy, we're overreacting. We shut down, from what I understand, and, and I have to be honest with you, I'm not you know, watching the news every 15 minutes, so I could be wrong about this, but from what I understand, we shut down five schools on Friday because there was a, a, an event where several people had cold-like symptoms after the event. And the idea was that they were at the event with other people. They would have contaminated other people who then would have gone home and would have passed it on to their children who then would have gone to the schools and it would have just started breeding in the schools. I, I get that. Um, but again, it just seems like... And now, the problem is they announce... They don't announce that. They don't say there was an event and just to be careful. No, what they say is... COVID-19 shuts down five schools in the area and, you know, now you can't buy paper towels for some reason. It's crazy. The media is not our friend. I've talked about that before. I'm not going to talk about it again now because i got too much work to do. <laughs> so, folks, I'm sorry. This has been a bit rambly, but the main thing I wanted to get across was uh, that I'm looking forward to this giveaway, looking forward to giving something back to all you guys for the the time you take to watch my videos, to comment on my videos, the the fact that you subscribe and uh, you know occasionally hit the thumbs up, thumbs up and even the thumbs down button now and then, uh, I appreciate it greatly. So tune in next Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Tune in next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern because we've got uh, Phil Bennett of Uncle Phil's Cellar on the live stream, and that's going to be a, a great show. Uh, Phil's a great guy. I really enjoy his channel, and uh, it'll be nice to get to know him a bit better. So, folks, with that, I am going to call this to a close. You all have a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.